negative COVID test if you have left the country. So for people out there listening to us right now, if one of us went down to Cancun or we went down to, uh, to Cabo or something like that, in order to fly back in, you would have to have a negative test, even as a United States citizen. Everybody coming across the border, hundreds of thousands of whom we're letting into the country, we don't require them to have any COVID shots, and we don't even at this point mostly test them. And oh, by the way, we also got baby formula for them down there, even though some of you can't find that in your own uh, community. Two aliens have broken our southwest border, evaded apprehension. Why? Because in some areas, 80% of the border patrol resources are pulled off the front line, pulled off the national security mission, and they're relegated to be a federal travel agency for the illegal uh, immigrants. And, and that leaves large areas of the border wide open. We've literally handed operational control to, uh, in with respect to large areas of border over the cartels. Mark, we've got these monster caravans that probably are going to be so large it's impossible even for the New York Times, MSNBC, CNN, the Washington Post crew to even ignore them. What is there we can do to break up these caravans? What do you anticipate happening when they actually reach our border? Oh, so they're, they're going to be broken up. This is a good question. Uh, it, it, but it's not going to be broken up by design. Look, this is what happens to the cartels. The cartels get to a certain point within Mexico that the cartels and smugglers determine. Then they will start breaking up the caravan and smuggle them across the points uh, along the southwest border that the cartels and smugglers choose. But here's, here's what's, what's, what's very disturbing about the latest caravan. We've literally gone back three and a half years in time uh, three and a half years in time with respect to what Mexico is doing. You've seen the caravan. Mexico's literally, like they were three and a half years ago, standing there. They're actually providing a corridor for them to come. They're now going to give them humanitarian work visas, which actually means that the, the, the migrants going through Mexico, they're lawfully in Mexico. They're not going to stay in Mexico. That's not their goal. Their goal is to break in the southwest border, and that's exactly what's going to happen. And, and just real quick, to put it in perspective, though, even if this car caravan gets up to 15,000, the largest uh, that we've seen that they're talking about, think about this. Every two days on the southwest border, the border patrol apprehends the equivalent of a 15,000-person caravan every two days on the southwest border. Speaking of Mark Morgan, former acting commissioner of Customs and Border Protection under the Trump administration, you can read the latest work he's doing for the Heritage Foundation on the border at the Biden Border Crisis dot com. Mark, to that end, what is the Biden DHS doing about all of this? There was a lot more attention in recent weeks on the border because of the prospect of Title 42 ending the CDC authority that allows, I think we should know, only some countries get people turned away under Title 42. Uh, Northern tribal countries in Mexico, they come from elsewhere in the world. My understanding from Border Patrol folks is you, you don't actually get expelled under Title 42 usually. Uh, what are the Biden folks doing about the situation of the numbers they have right now? Is there is there anything that we can point to that suggests they are hoping those numbers come down? No, no. So look, first of all, your, your explanation of Title 42, you're exactly right. Look, they haven't been applying Title 42 on a company buyer since day one. They did a carve out. Over 85, sometimes 90 percent of families, regardless of where you come from, they're not applying Title 42. Title 42, since the Biden administration took over, really has only been applied to single adults. And then, as you said, you're absolutely spot on. Even single adults, they're not applying that to. Like, it, it, they call it CDNs. Colombians, Venezuelans, and Nicaraguans. If you're single adults from those countries, they're letting, the, they're letting them in as well, even with Title 42 in place. And think about this. Title 42 has been in place during this entire Biden administration, and we're already in the middle of the worst catastrophic crisis that we see in our lifetime. I keep saying, you know what, so, so even when a Title 42 goes or stays, we're already in the middle of a catastrophe. Once it goes, I keep saying it's going to be like the Hindenburg crash into the Titanic, but we're already in the middle of the Titanic sinking. And the last point of this, to, to address your last question, is look, this administration, what are they doing? The, the, you know, Secretary Marcus talks about a six-pillar plan. All his plan is is to throw money, more money, more resources to get faster and more efficient at releasing illegal aliens into the, the United States. There's nothing there that's going to effectively secure a border or stem the flow of illegal immigration. This is done by design and it's by intent.